what's going on guys so today we've got kind of a small project on the tahoe back behind me here we're going to be taking um the brake calipers and doing a little upgrade to them i've got this duplicolor caliper paint kit that is ceramic oh my truck realized i was here uh it's ceramic paint and I've used this in the past. It works really well. It sticks really good. It holds up really good. I think you can get this for like 25 bucks at your local auto parts store. Comes with brake cleaner to clean them. Comes with the can of paint, the brush. Uh, you'll need a rag, some towels, maybe a toothbrush to uh, to get the surface really clean, and then some tape, obviously, so you don't get paint on all the other stuff around it. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. So we're gonna be doing all four of the calipers on this truck, and you can see calipers are kind of bland they're just a generic like silver but they're actually a little bigger on these trucks than they were on the previous generations so i think it stands out a little more when we paint them so let's get going the old wifey's car i'm not gonna lie guys these palisades are pretty nice check this out Huge screen. I say it's huge, it's about the size of mine. <laughs> I will say she loves this car. She's one of one of these since they came out. And so we went and got her this one new. She had a Santa Fe before this and she absolutely loves. Look at the look at the seat details. Like the stitchings on the seat. Super nice car. The center console treatment. Really nice car. Should we do our first cold start on the Tahoe? It it hasn't been started yet today, so completely stock exhaust. Let's see what it sounds like here. Sounds like nothing. It just sounds like absolutely nothing. Oh. Let's see if we can get out of here without hitting anything. Okay, so now we got the truck in the garage with enough room to at least do the front side for now. We'll probably have to turn it around to get to the back side, but we got enough room to get to both of the front wheels. So we're going to do these one at a time. Uh, this is all independent suspension, so it's probably... I may be able to get both the fronts up in the air at the same time, but we'll give it a shot. All right, we got jacked up off the ground, lug nuts off the wheel. Now we can go ahead and pull the front side out here. Whew. Man, these things are a lot bigger when they're off the truck. All right, now that it's off, you can see the caliper a little better, kind of what we're gonna be painting. And then of course the suspension. Sure, uh, sure wish we could change that. Man, if there was only a way to lower this truck. Nobody sells one yet. But we're going to get there eventually. For now, we're just worried about this. And you can see I had to run a quarter inch spacer here to get to the, um, to get clearance for the brake calipers because they do rub the wheel if you try to run it without spacers. Now we'll go ahead and pop open the kit and see what all it came with. can of uh, brake cleaner. They call it caliper cleaner, but really it's brake cleaner, let's be honest. A little bit of masking tape. We'll probably use all that and more. Stir stick and a paintbrush. We get the actual ceramic paint. 
and instructions. We don't need those. So first thing we're gonna do is spray the calipers to clean them off. And I'm actually gonna spray the rag. You can spray the caliper itself, but I prefer to spray the rag and then I can just kind of wipe it around as I need to. I just don't like brake cleaner getting everywhere. The goal is to clean off any dirt, oil, grease, brake dust, anything that will make the paint not stick. And you really want to do a good job of this. The better you prep, the better your final product's going to come out. The cool thing about using a brushed on paint as opposed to a spray paint is you really don't have to tape that much. I just taped off some of the surfaces that basically touch where I'm going to be applying that way when my brush gets right up against the edge, I don't have to worry about um, the bristles catching it. So other than that, you can really control where you apply the paint uh, really easily with the brush. So now we've got it sprayed off and cleaned. We've got it taped. Um, <clears throat> before we start putting the paint on, I'm actually going to run over this with a heat gun. I want to heat up the surface of this metal because right now it's like really cold. It's probably 45 degrees outside, 50 degrees. And with it cold like this, it's going to take a lot longer for the paint to dry. So if I can put a heat gun to this and get the temperature of the metal up a little bit, when I put the paint on, it'll dry a lot faster. Now you can kind of just do this by feel. You want to run it over the surface. Hold it. Don't be afraid to hold it there for a while because the metal's thick and it'll take a while to heat up. But you just want to get it to where when you touch it, it's not cold. It's got kind of a warm feel to it. Now, this isn't a problem if it's a summer day, but if this is wintertime in your area, then you definitely want to heat it up a little bit. So we got it right. Now I'm actually going to take the, the paint and do the same thing, heat it up just a little bit. Um, because the paint itself is really cold. I've, I've had it sitting in my garage for a while. Okay, we got one caliper pretty much done. Now we just have to do the other three, get them painted, let them cure, and then put the wheels and tires back on. I think it's gonna look pretty sick. This is also a perfect time to clean your wheels and tires while they're off the truck. Okay, two wheels down. Got the back one done. Front one all buttoned up. Looks so sick with these wheels. Now we just gotta turn the truck around and do the other side. All right, we almost got the second side done. Front one's done. We got the last one to do now. And uh, it's taking a little longer to dry than I anticipated just because it's cold outside. But it kinda makes sense. Looks really good. Uh, you can't even see that really because of how dark it is. But it looks pretty sick. So we'll wrap up here and hopefully if it's not dark, we'll get some pictures for you. All right, well, it's dark now. Can't really get any good pictures of the Tahoe with the new painted calipers, but we will uh, we'll get out in the morning, snap a couple pictures. If it's not raining, we'll wash it. And then uh, we'll get you guys a shot of it before we end this video. So I'm gonna go inside and eat some dinner. We'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, squatty squatty potty so we're here at brenton automotive getting the uh we're here getting our muffler delete at brenton automotive but i figured i'd take the opportunity to show you the red calipers man it looks so sick it looks so good i think it really brings out these wheels it's kind of hard to tell in the camera i guess because the contrast between the the black and the white on the truck makes the wheels just makes the wheels just kind of black out but man when you get close to them you can see it Whew. so good
Now stay tuned. Uh, in the next video, you'll see them upload delete.